So here is my uh, Toyota Corolla GTS AE92. It's pretty clean. It only has a, a rust spot right there and on the other side as well. Toyota Pacel wheels, I have the covers for them. I think it's from a 91. Interior is pretty clean. That's the rear. That rust was coming from the seat. The bottom of the seat rusted out because the sunroof drains were clogged. So I had to remove all that. The, the drains clog because of the sunroof for these cars. They rust like crazy. So I bought this sunroof, believe it or not, for $25 from a guy in Harrison, Ohio, somewhere near Cincinnati. Uh, <clears throat> car has 99,000 miles. Thank God I got it to focus. You know, I got all the interior pieces, but I was doing some work down there. And soon that all be out anyways for the 2cc swap. This is the engine. It's out of a donor car that I also bought the, after I purchased the sunroof and some parts, I ended up buying the whole car. And this is the engine from it. It had a 140,000 miles in it. The first engine, uh, I blew it up, I'm doing some shenanigans. AC has been deleted. Power steering, cruise control, all the vacuum lines, and all that nonsense. It runs and drives. I just I'm not gonna use it this winter. There's too many cars in the driveway. It leaks from these two injectors, so I just got to get an injector seals. Oh, these two injector wires here are from a, another harness that I had laying around. It, it had a misfire. So I got the injector wires and put them all the way down to the ECU. And that was not the problem. The problem was the connection at the ECU. At the, I, I misdiagnosed it just because of this reason. When I was pulling this harness here up and down, it's where you know the injector or original injector harnesses inside here. I thought, you know, it was bad in, in here, but it wasn't. Like, I mean, I was wiggling, 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 never thinking that it was gonna pull the wires from the ECU, like. And when I pull up, it runs good. When I let it go, it starts misfiring again. So yeah, the, the, the problem was not in here, it was on the ECU. I miss, I mean, I diagnosed it pretty quick, but I also did not <laughs> misdiagnose it. But you know, you live and you learn. I just never seen these type of cars with the uh, wiring problems. That's a newer sleigh cylinder. Headers from OBX that I had, uh, uh, you know, for a long time. They do their job. Is nothing super amazing, but you know, eh, it's headers, whatever. So, just stay tuned for the two CC engine in this thing it's not gonna be very easy I don't I don't know we'll see trial and error it's not like I know I know it's been done but I mean I, I no one 
has done like step by step tutorial on how to do this so I'm gonna be the one Toyota guy taking it for the team so just stay tuned like comment subscribe I guess you know thank you all for watching